On today's video, we're going to turn a Terra Scorcher into a TRF style buggy and throw heaps of option upgrade parts at it. So stick around, watch the video and enjoy. Welcome back to the channel, Adam from RC Action Australia. Today's video, we're going to turn this Terra Scorcher into a TRF inspired um, Thundershot series car. So this is going to be an awesome video, but until we get on to my plans with that, just want to do some housekeeping. Big thank you to everyone who has liked and subscribed to the channel and tunes into all my videos. Um, Fantastic guys, 2021, I really want the channel to grow. So if you haven't already liked and subscribed, please consider smashing that subscribe button and hitting that notification bell down below. Chuck a like, a comment, whatever you want. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. All those links will be down in the description down below. And I really, really look forward to bringing more RC content this year. So with all that out of the way, Let's look at today's project. Now, uh, you would have seen in the intro there, I've got heaps and heaps of parts that I want to throw at this. But before we go on to that, I want to give you a little bit of a backstory about this car. I have posted a few videos and pictures on my Instagram page and Facebook. Um, so there's a little bit more content that I do put over there. So make sure you do check out those pages. Um, Last year, I really wanted to get back into sort of some style of racing, um, and I thought that, you know, a vintage class would be a good place to start with. Now, um, doesn't really require huge money to be thrown at it for those people who are interested, because you're running standard 540 Johnson Motors, well, here in Australia anyway, any radio gear that you like, um, and basically as long as the car is a, is a certain sort of vintage car, you can enter so very very basic low-key entry specifications and you don't need to throw big money um, and it's probably more about the fun and handling of the car so this is where this project was um, sort of thought about in intentions to doing that but obviously with COVID a lot of the race meets and whatnot were closed down some went ahead but I wasn't able to attend so because the weather's awful and I haven't been able to get out and do some running videos, I figured that today was an awesome day to pop all these X-Speed parts onto the Terra Scorcher and basically build like a TRF-inspired Terra Scorcher. Now, what have we got to get put on the kit to make it handle very, very good? So, I've got these aluminium front and rear uh, shock towers from Extra Speed. Purchase them off RC Mart. They aren't very expensive um, and they seem to be very, very nice upgrades. Now, they're black alloy, so they don't really stand out on the car. My main um, advantage that I see with these is all that sort of flex that you get from the standard plastic shock towers. Hopefully, we can eliminate that and get better traction and grounding for the car. I've already got the extra speed a5 front brace on the car and the stainless steel pin upgrades now I did a full video on that I'll try and find that video and chuck the link up above for you guys to look at there's a few different options that you can do to upgrade your Thundershot series car so that video explained all of that now while we're talking TRF oh, before we do that I've also purchased this extra speed uh, Thundershot suspension mount. So it goes onto the rear of the car and pretty much does the same as the front A5 brace but to the rear of the suspension. Now I've never really broken one of these at all on any of my Thundershot series cars but I figured it'd be a nice little piece to put on the car. So we'll, we'll put that one on as well. Now you'll notice that there's no suspension on this car so I have already gone ahead um, strip the car of its uh, standard uh, springs, oil shocks. Now, don't throw those away. You can clean these up, repurpose them, and you can put them on another car that may only have friction shocks. Now, there's multiple cars that you can upgrade and put those shocks onto. You can lengthen them, you can shorten them, 
to adapt them to other cars. So make sure you repurpose your oil shocks. Um, so with those off, and with the VQS now out, Tamiya are now offering the high caps that fit the VQS. Now, they are also the high caps that fit the Terra Scorcher or Thundershot series cars. So I've gone ahead and built those. They're beautiful shock absorbers, um, and they'll go nicely with those upgraded alloy towers. So they'll be going on there. And I've bought myself a set of these dual block um, DTO2, I think they are, wheels and tires, and they will go on there as well. Now they're hex adapters, so I've also upgraded to some alloy uh, 12 mil hex adapters on the car already. Now the car itself, I've already rebuilt the full chassis, put new gearbox casings on it because they are they were cracked, the original ones, but other than that, the car's fully rebuilt and ready to go. Now, because I did want to do that sort of TRF style, so if you would have seen on my Instagram, Facebook pages, I have already done the body. Now, I was considering sending it away and getting someone else to paint it, but I figured, hey, why not? I'll give it a go myself. Um, I do like to do my own things, and I think it's a little bit more rewarding if you do your own um, things on your cars. Now, it's obviously not pretty, it's not perfect, but I think um, it will turn out quite nice. Um, this is a TRF uh, wing that I bought off RC Mart. I've cut it down and I've got the wing mount that I'll put on the car. So I think it will come up quite nicely. Um, how did I do the body? Did some white, did a pink section and then some metallic blue. I've bought some TRF decals and just pot, put those on there to give it a little bit more of that TRF style paint. Um, theme. So I think it's come out alright and my intention is to use it and run it so um, it's not perfect but it looks quite good. So let's get all these parts onto the car. Um, I'll take you with me, we'll do a little bit of footage as I put them on and then I'll come back, I'll tell you what I think of them and um, yeah, show you the car all put together and I'm thinking it's actually going to look quite nice and it's going to be a beautiful handling buggy, fingers crossed. Okay, so up first we'll put on the front shock tower. So I've already gone and undone the three screws that hold the standard plastic one on. Uh, comes off very, very easily, guys, so that's the standard one. So as you can see, uh, if we look at the alloy and the plastic one, the alloy one definitely looks like a nicer part. So we'll go ahead, we'll put that one on, and then we'll move on to the back of the car, and I'll show you what it all looks like. And now that we've got all those extra speed uh, alloy shock parts on onto the car, as you can see in those videos, let's get the high cap dampers onto the car. Um, they go on quite simply and they come with all the hardware required in the packaging from Tamiya. So let's put them on high and I'll cap show dampers you. on the car. So they've come up quite nice. Um, not quite sure how it'll all come together um, with the suspension height wise, but so far it's looking nice and it already looks beautiful on the car, as you can see. Now, up next, we've already got those 12 mil hex adapters on the car. So up next, just to complete the car, we'll get these dual block tires and wheels on. We'll then put the uh, spoiler mount on and we'll get the body all sorted and I'll let you know what I think.
Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed um, the everything going onto the car and it came across nicely on camera. I'm super, super happy with the upgrades and those X-Speed alloy parts that I have put on the car. I can highly recommend them to anyone. I'm really, really, really happy with how the car has turned out. I think it's got a really, really nice sort of race TRF inspired look to it as well with the different wheels, different um, tyres. We've got the clear wing with the TRF um, decals and we've got, obviously got um, a body with some TRF paint colours plus a few little decals just to tie it in nicely. So I think it's a nice cool twist on the Terra Scorcher. Obviously we've got a nice vintage original one behind me here and if we put the two of them together I think that um, definitely owns its, uh, its way on the shelf or as a beautiful sort of custom RC car. So let me know what you know, what you think in the comments down below, sorry. And um, yeah, let me know if you think it's cool, whether you don't think it's cool, whatever. Um, as I said, I really enjoy building custom cars and adding a sort of bit of a custom flair to it. I did the similar thing uh, with the Striker build with a few different wheels, tyres and suspension upgrades. Um, and obviously with my... Um, Baja Champ that hopefully you can see up above me there as well. So I do enjoy going through those um, leftover parts, chucking some upgrade parts at it. So let's have a little quick look at the parts um, now that they're on the car. Take the driver figure off. So the um, uprights, highly recommend them. No flex whatsoever in those. Um, the suspension's doing all the work now. So the factory one's really, really flexed around um, probably will affect the handling. Probably not so much to the average person that's just going to take it out for a run. But um, yeah, if, you, if you're pushing a little bit more speed um, and whatnot in these cars, every little upgrade does count. Same with the rear suspension parts. Highly recommend that as well. The rear gearbox brace, um, the upgrade there, little, that was the most fiddly part to go on with the C-clips, but other than that, it was pretty straightforward. The front and rear alloy shock towers go bolt straight into the factory positions, reuse the factory uh, screws, very, very simple, literally took me about a minute to replace each one. Now, in regards to um, another little custom feature that I did on the body, on the car itself, is when I did put the wing on, uh, I found that uh, when I had the standard wing mount in the standard position, um, the, the wing sat really, really far forward and on a strange angle. So I played around with that a little bit. I've mounted it backwards and on the back of the shock tower itself. So it's enabled me to really um, push the wing further back, out the back of the car, and give it sort of a nice race buggy look. So um, yeah, super happy with how it came out. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I would love to um, you know, hear what you think, any other upgrades that I should do to the car. So for today's video, I will leave it there. Um, my final thoughts is I would highly recommend these upgrades and I can't wait to get um, you know, some electronics into the car and we'll go and see whether these upgrades really do make a difference because I have driven this car um, once when it was all put together before in a very standard form. So I do know how the Terra Scorcher performs. So hopefully I'll be able to see um, these upgrades and the, you know, the positive effects that they make on the car. So yes, once again, thanks for watching. Um, hit like and subscribe. Catch me on Facebook and Instagram. Um, and I will see you on the next video.